Today we will talk about the causes and the ways to fix your fatigue due to diabetes and insulin resistance. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin, the Sugar MD. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetologist, and a practicing physician in Florida. Now, fatigue is a very common symptom of diabetes, right? And can actually result from high blood sugar levels and other diabetic symptoms and even diabetic complications. What are they? Remember, neuropathy, like a nerve disease, heart disease, and so on. Now, some lifestyle changes and certain herbs can help a person definitely manage their diabetes better. Fatigue and tiredness are not the same thing, right? So when a person is tired, they usually feel better after resting. But when a person has persistent fatigue, rest may not relieve those feelings of exhaustion and lethargy. 60% of people with type 2 diabetes report fatigue as a symptom. Actually, fatigue is the second most common symptom among all diabetics. In this video, we will uncover the relationship between diabetes and fatigue, and I will also provide you some advice on how to manage this horrible symptom of diabetes. So stay tuned, I have some really important and interesting information in the middle and towards the end of this video. So please be patient and watch the entire video to understand the whole topic. At least watch 10 minutes to make it worthwhile for yourself. Now, why does diabetes cause fatigue? I will go over in detail more on that, but to summarize, number one, changes in your blood sugar levels, the fluctuations. Number two, the other symptoms of diabetes. Number three, complications of diabetes. Number four, mental and emotional issues resulting from diabetes. And being overweight, of course, as number five I can list. And number six, I would say significant fluctuations in your blood sugar. Now, cells need insulin to absorb glucose from the blood. But as you know, when you have diabetes or insulin resistance, your cells need that glucose for energy. But due to lack or resistance to insulin, this does not happen. It's like you have a million dollars in the bank, but you can't even touch it. Painful, isn't it? Diabetes is not any different. Your blood sugar may be three times of the normal levels, and yet you feel tired and exhausted all the time. Not only fatigue, high blood sugar is constantly damaging your arteries and nerves, causing kidney failure, eye damage, the neuropathy, heart disease, and so forth. So I'll give you a few tips on how to stop that from happening really soon in this video. Another potential reason for fatigue due to diabetes is low blood sugar actually. Typically, it is a potential side effect of diabetes medications like sulfonylureas, which are horrible drugs by the way. Sorry if you're on gliposide or glyburide or glimopride or even insulin. Sometimes you have to, but they are not necessarily the best. But when your blood sugar goes really down because of these medications, your body creates the same stress reaction as if you were fighting with someone in a boxing ring. Here is a quick fact for you. Many people on insulin have low blood sugar, especially after midnight, while they are sleeping and they don't even know it. They wake up with a feeling like truck hit them and they don't even know why they feel that way. Some of you are, for example, using continuous glucose monitoring systems, such as Libre or Dexcom, and you can see that yourself, when you wake up, you can see how much drop happened in your blood sugars. And it may explain why you feel that way. So if you felt the same way, and if you have any experience, please write your experience in the comment section below. So if you think your blood sugar may be low during the night or even during the day, when you are physically active, for example, do yourself a favor and check your blood sugar to see what's happening. If you have a glucose monitoring, continuous monitoring, that's great. If not, you have to do a finger stick. If you get up to urinate at night, for example, remind yourself to check your blood sugar to better understand what's going on, like at two o'clock in the morning, for example, unless you are using continuous glucose monitoring system, which can give you retrospective data. Also, other symptoms of diabetes can make you tired, like frequent urination that makes it hard to sleep, excessive thirst, for example, as a sign of dehydration, extreme hunger when you have already eaten, unexplained weight loss, blurred vision, and so on. Now, not all of these symptoms are directly linked to feelings of tiredness, but many of them may make you feel unwell 
as a whole. Now, these unpleasant and persistent feelings can have a big impact on both your mental and physical health, which can make you tired as well. Now, similarly, neuropathy, for example, discomfort in your limbs and hands and feet may make it difficult for a person with diabetes to fall asleep and even stay asleep. Not sure if you have tried our diabetic neuropathy support yet, but if you haven't tried, please do so. You will see the difference within a month or two for your neuropathy. And if you did try, please stay on it to get the maximum and persistent benefit and write your experience in the comment section below. Now, SugarMD neuropathy support has everything in it to prevent and heal the diabetic neuropathy. And it also helps even prevent other complications of diabetes, such as eye disease or kidney disease, although we call it a neuropathy support, but it helps for all. Now, also heart disease is another complication of diabetes, as you know, and heart failure is unfortunately four times more common among diabetics compared to non-diabetics. So you need to make sure to do everything to prevent this complication because you only have one heart. If your heart is failing and cannot pump blood, how are you going to not feel fatigue, right? Let's talk about the adverse effects of diabetes medications as well. For example, some of the medications can make you really tired. One of them is corticosteroids. A person with diabetes, for example, may need to take corticosteroids such as prednisone to treat inflammation or some pain or something like that or discomfort. And it can be due to some other conditions, right? But not only steroid spike your blood sugar, and most of you already know that if you have experience with it, your blood sugar is really super uncontrollable, but steroids will also will make you like crap. It's gonna make you not able to sleep. It's gonna make you retain a ton of water and so forth. Now, statins is another one that is used to reduce your LDL levels, right? Which is bad cholesterol. But statins can sometimes come with a cost. And that cost can be muscle pains or fatigue. So if you're not sure that why you're fatigued, you may want to hold off on your statins for a few weeks to see if your fatigue completely goes away. And if you think so, let your doctor know because there are alternative medications that can be tried if you cannot take a statin medications. Nowadays, we have other cholesterol medications that are not statin. Now, Diuretics is another one. Some patients use diuretics to treat the high blood pressure, for example, and that can make people, again, urinate a lot, and that can make you get up at night too often. And they also sometimes change your sodium potassium balance, which can lead to fatigue. So for example, if you have low potassium in your blood, you will feel fatigue or even low sodium. And the hydrochlorothiazide, for example, can do both. And in some cases, doctors will overtreat you and you may end up with a low blood pressure while you're trying to treat high blood pressure and that will also cause fatigue. So most diuretics, unfortunately, also increase your blood sugar. Now, I'm not saying stop your diuretics right now because of what I said. I would definitely consult with your doctor and bring up your concerns to see if you still need to be on that diuretic. But if you can control your blood pressure without medication, that will be the best. Again, if you're salt sensitive, you can cut down on the salt, uh, you can do more diet and exercise, and you can take a little bit of a sugar MD blood pressure support to get some of the natural herbs like garlic or hibiscus, etc., that are in the sugar MD blood pressure support may also help as well. Now, check our website for more information at sugarmds.com. Now, another medication that can make you feel tired is beta blockers. Again, they're used for high blood pressure, sometimes for other heart diseases, or even sometimes for anxiety or shaking in your hands and so forth. But they slow your heart and that can lead to chronic fatigue as well. Beta blockers can also raise your blood sugar as well, just like diuretics do. And sometimes they prevent you from feeling from low blood sugars as well. So for example, low blood sugar will let you know that is happening by causing heart racing and shaking uh, on your hands, but the beta blockers will actually block those symptoms and then you will not even realize that you have a low blood sugar because you are not feeling the symptoms that you're supposed to feel. Now, how mental and emotional health living with diabetes affect your fatigue, for example? Let's talk about that. Now, diabetic patients are two to three times more likely to suffer from depression than those who do not have the disease. Now, it is really hard to deal with the blood sugar day in and day out. Keep checking your blood sugar. Blood sugars are fluctuating, trying to pay attention to what you eat, etc., etc. It is a difficult life. Now, only fun part is just could be just watching my channel right now. I hope so. I hope I'm entertaining you a little bit while teaching you. 
But it is really hard to live with diabetes and people go depressed sometimes. Now, one thing people don't realize is that you don't have to necessarily feel super sad or super depressed. Sometimes fatigue itself is the main symptom of depression. And most people don't even realize that they are depressed. They just think that they are tired all the time. Now, depression can even cause physical pain if it is severe. Most people don't like that stigma and they even refuse to talk about it, but it is better to keep an eye on it and to bring it up to your doctor. Anxiety, for example, has been shown to be more widespread in those who are aware of that uh, they had the disease of diabetes and there are other health issues and so forth. Definitely brings up anxiety. And anxiety is another cause for fatigue as well. Now, due to sleep disruption, sadness, anxiety, they all induce the heightened sensation of weariness. Now, depression can also have a negative impact on your blood sugar regulation, which can also lead to exhaustion in another way. Actually, many of the symptoms of depression are completely directly related to fatigue. For example, alteration in sleeping habits, getting up too early or not being able to return to sleep can all lead to energy loss, and that can be part of depression. Now, does being overweight or insulin resistant make you feel fatigue without diabetes? Now, I'm not sure if every overweight individual, but when your fat cells are fully loaded with fat, it creates inflammation in, in, in the system, which can give you that flu-like symptom all the time. Now, other reasons for the connection between being overweight and insulin resistance and fatigue are the lifestyle choices, for example, that may lead to weight gain, a lack of exercise, and a diet that contains too much processed or junk food, even if you're not overweight or diabetic, can still make you feel tired. Yes, you should start moving and eating better. But what else is there? Well, have you ever heard of the berberine? It's actually the ultimate longevity herb. It can cause some tummy issues in some people. Then what is the solution? To berberine lovers, dehydroberberine. Dehydroberberine is another form of berberine that is five times more absorbable and much less gastrointestinal side effects. Compared to metformin, it's nothing. When you combine dehydroberberine with saline cinnamon, you get an insulin resistance fighter. Check out our super berberine, uh, which is dehydroberberine and saline cinnamon combo. You will see the difference within a few weeks of use. You will feel more energetic, you may lose some pounds, and your blood sugar will be better. Now, you can check that out at our website at sugarmds.com and there's a sale going on right now as of this video being recorded. What other lifestyle changes can help a person manage both diabetes and symptoms of fatigue? Well, getting regular exercise, 150 minutes of cardio exercise and some resistance training to keep your muscles in good condition. Now, eating a healthful diet, such as Mediterranean diet, which in my opinion is the best diet for diabetics. It is the only study diet actually in the long term and that has been shown to lower the risk of dying from heart attacks and cancer. Now, if somebody saying to you that there is no study for any diet that's wrong, Mediterranean diet has been studied for long term, has been shown to improve longevity, has been shown to cut back on the cancer and diabetes. Now, for example, keto diet has never shown that. Paleo diet has never shown that, has never been really studied in the long term. The only long term study diet is Mediterranean diet. Now, I'm not saying that those diets are bad for you. I'm saying that the science indicates so far the Mediterranean diet is the only diet that has been proven to reduce the risk of diabetes and cancer. Also, practicing good sleep, good sleep hygiene actually, with regular bedtimes like seven to eight hours of sleep, not watching TV. Till it's too late, not staring on your phone until midnight. For example, unwinding before bed, managing and limiting stress, all these things will help reduce fatigue. It is also essential for a person to properly manage their diabetes and any related conditions with the correct herbs and medications, if needed. Achieving this requires quite a bit of measures, including monitoring your blood sugars regularly, following a diet that limits the refined carbohydrates and simple sugars, taking all your medications or, and supplements, unless some of these medications may give you a lot of side effects, then you still have to find an alternative. 
If you are not a medication person, like I said, try our Super Berberine and Advanced Glucose Support to get the maximum benefit for energy and glucose control. Now, occasionally a person with diabetes might have fatigue due to some acute factors, not due to diabetes. For example, acute illness like urinary tract infection or gastroenteritis, unrelated stress like your wife or your husband's or kids stressing you out, right? Having anemia, which I frequently see in my patients as well, even arthritis or other chronic conditions that can cause inflammation such as COPD, rheumatoid arthritis, sleep apnea, you name it. Bottom line, high or low blood sugar levels, depression, being overweight, certain medications, diabetic or non-diabetic, and some medical disorders that can also happen along with diabetes can cause fatigue. While fatigue and awareness might not be easy to control, and it may prevent you from doing your regular activities, but uh, regulating your blood sugar levels and adjusting your lifestyle with diet, exercise, certain herbs like dehydroberberine, the Salem cinnamon, etc., it will boost your energy and lessen the tiredness and lethargy. And if you are depressed, please seek help because depression or not accepting the depression is not going to help you recover from fatigue. So I hope this video helped you and it was helpful. And if it was, please remember to give a thumbs up, write a comment and share. Please remember to subscribe to our channel if you have not done already so. See you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.